Yo, yo, what it do, what it do? It's been a while, a long while. If you've been wondering where I've been, I've been elevating. I've been elevating and just trying to get it together. Let's, but we're going to talk about it. We're going to get into it and uh, I'm going to just tell you what I've been going through, uh, what my family's been going through. really beautiful so yeah currently someone's riding my tail and if I hit my brakes I'm gonna get into a car accident so I'm gonna just focus I'm gonna just focus so January 2nd 2024 someone stole my car uh, Keisha and Amira I think left to get in the car and go somewhere um, or Keisha went somewhere uh, the night before, parked the car on that neighboring block. And then the next morning she went to grab my car to go do somewhere, go somewhere. And she couldn't find my car. So yeah, January 2nd, 2024. Somebody took my car, went on a joy ride, smoked about seven blunts and you know, I was at peace, you know, because who am I? I'm not really that special to which, you know, my car can't get touched. But, you know, you always be like, oh, not me, not me. But that wasn't the case. Someone took my car, went joyriding, had the time of their life. And then because of an app that I had connected to my car, um, I was able to renew the subscription and they helped the police find my car. So, the car was recovered at the police lot. I got a tow truck to meet me there. And they brought my car to the back of the back of my house. Yeah. So, um, shout out to my mom. She helped me get my car fixed. And I think you know, so I, I got my car back in March. If we could rewind a little bit, I got my car fixed in March. February, my grandmother passed away. So that was something that was, you know, a big deal. My grandmother had been living in Philadelphia for the last 10 years at my mom's crib. And my mom and sister really, really took the brunt of taking care of her. Um, making sure she was fed, making sure she was at appointments. And me and my brothers filled in from time to time to take her to dialysis. Um, and just on a, a very, very interesting day of which she was supposed to go to dialysis. Um, she got sent to the hospital from dialysis. And, you know, she didn't make it and they couldn't resuscitate her. So we lost my nanny in February. I got to go to Texas with everybody and, and uh, attend her home going, which was beautiful. I got to connect with my cousins who I haven't seen in years. And that was the, that's always the underlying, you know, um, because when you lose someone, your family comes together. Everyone comes together. Everyone shares stories and stuff like that. And being her grandson, uh, 
I stood up at the podium and I talked about when my grandmother told my mom I said the word bastard <laughs> and I got a beating. And what was the other story I told her? Um, I sang the song uh, Moulin Rouge as a kid. I heard it on a TV show in Living Color and I sang the song <laughs> And my nanny came in and said, why are you singing that? You don't know anything about that song. You don't know what the words mean. You shouldn't be singing songs with words that you don't understand. And my mom came home and I got another beating. So, but needless to say, I never sang the words to that song ever again. You know what I mean? Um, but my nanny taught me a lot of things. She taught me about not being broke. March. 2024 I got my car back um, it cost about five thousand dollars to get fixed my mom helped me get my car fixed and I think I had my car for about a week and a half and someone ran into my car and it got totaled so I didn't have my car back long enough um, you know to enjoy it per se but someone hit me um, running a red light and they totaled my car. <laughs> and yeah, uh, a lot of insurance stuff. Um, their insurance denied liability. My insurance couldn't help. So uh, yeah, right after I had a car accident, my ex-wife had a car accident, uh, who was a special person in my life, on her birthday. Um, so she spent most of her birthday in the hospital, but afterwards I took her out to dinner so she could just have some type of positivity during her birthday. And then a week after that, my mom got into a car accident. So that was March. April, has just been rebuilding may rebuilding as a matter of fact we still rebuilding so it has been a wild time in the family dynamic um you know so that's where i've been that's where i've been i haven't been taking care of myself as much as i should um today we're picking that back up let me turn this turn signal off because that could be annoying um, but yeah, uh, I was supposed to go to DreamCon. Um, I canceled my trip. I was supposed to go to TwitchCon. And just overall, I wasn't feeling the vibe. So I was just like, you know what? I'm uh, not travel this year and pick it back up next year. And um, I had asked the homie if I could come through and come to Houston at the end of this month, July. And um, I'm canceling my I'm canceling my trip to kind of focus on my um, mental health and just focus on self care. Self care in my eyes is the best care. And I'm headed to the gym now because I need a great workout. I need a good workout. So that's where I've been, um, you know. And you know I'm gonna focus refocus on content when I can. Uh, currently, I'm having a blast. Though. I've really enjoyed being at camp and working and hanging out with the kids and just um, creating content. I've been streaming pretty consistently, regardless of how tired I, I am. Right now, I'm in a playthrough of Elden Ring. Um, and if people know what Elden Ring is, that game packs you up to no end. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, today, uh, we're probably going to hit my favorite muscle group um back and biceps or uh back shoulders and biceps. um i'm not quite sure yet i haven't made my decision all the way but i just wanted to come on and give you guys an update of what's been going on in my life um but we're currently we currently apply for par youtube partner for my slowed and reverb music channel and we found out that YouTube doesn't really accept slowed music as a genre, so 
they look at the songs that I've used from different artists and consider it reusing other people's content. So that channel won't be monetized. So we're going to focus on some new projects. We're going to focus on my main channel, this channel that I'm on right now, the main channel. And we're going to rebrand and we're going to focus on branding for the Twitch channel. And we're just going to keep pushing. We, we're just going to keep pushing. Um, I'd like to refocus on Instagram and Snapchat and stuff like Not Did I say Snapchat? I did not mean Snapchat. I mean TikTok. <laughs> and we're going to keep moving and grooving. Um, right now, I'm looking at videos, YouTube University for animation and illustration. Uh, we'll be starting a new semester soon. So um, throughout this whole year, um, I have kept it positive about 80 to 85 percent most of the time uh i am human sometimes i i'm not so positive but uh i'm gonna get to that 95 100 percent positivity each and every time and we're gonna keep pushing and grinding so thank y'all for the love and support um this video will be out soon i still gotta edit some of the videos i did with the girls and stuff so i'll i'll catch up with y'all soon all right